Hey folks, Malforan here. Welcome back to the Rise of the Habsburg campaign in Crusader Kings 3. We're going to carry on as always where we left off last time, uh, where we just realised that someone from our house has inherited Hungary, uh, the entire kingdom, and Bohemia as well. So uh, we had a little bit of luck. We actually married their mother to, uh, to the previous king, who was the king of Bohemia and Hungary, and uh, she was married matrilineally. Here she is. She's our sister. And uh, yeah, all her children... Um, obviously then took over the inheritance line of both kingdoms. And uh, because they are two sons, they got split. So now we have Bohemia and Hungary, both part of the Habsburg uh, house, which is amazing. And uh, we're still here as a, as a lowly duke <laughs> in Austria, but uh, we're making our way up. We're doing pretty well. Uh, we, we had some um, reorganization of our lands last episode, and then we inherited a bunch more lands. So um, again, today... We, we also have a new Kaiser, so we're going to try and get a hook on him. We're still trying to get that, get that strong hook so we can form the Archduchy. And then we can be a king-level uh, character. And then we can sort out some of this mess here. But uh, anyway, we're just going to get going really today and find out what happens. Yeah, we're over our vassal limit. Uh, we're over a lot of limits. That's why we, we really need that hook if we can. And we're not going to go on pilgrimage. Um, we actually just want to make sure we don't die, if we're honest. Um, because if we die... Famous last words, we'll probably die straight away. Um, we will um, we'll, uh, we'll lose a bunch of our land. Well, we won't lose a bunch of our lands, but our, our succession isn't uh, fun. Uh, this guy, Hesso von Habsburg, is our other son. He's going to inherit uh, Up Lorraine and Salzburg and Corinthia. So he's going to split our lands in half. It's kind of annoying if it was going to split, but he was going to keep all the lands over here. I wouldn't mind. It would be an interesting uh, function if you could do that. If you if you saw a succession like this, if you could go in and say, okay, fine, it's going to split, but this son, you're going to get these three, and so you're going to get the other three, but they're going to be like unified lands. The split will still make sense, whereas at the moment our lands are going to get split really weirdly. Um, kind of lands all over the place for each of us, so... Um, we'll see anyway how this all works out. Hopefully we get that hook and then we'll be fine because we'll get Primogenitor as well at that point, which will be fantastic. But uh, yeah, we'll just see how all that works out. We got, yeah, overextension of minus 80%, and, but we're still making money, which is pretty impressive. Um, I was going to help in this war here. So he's got a tyranny war. Oh, he's only got 2,000 troops? Okay, man, I'll bother then. <laughs> I was going to offer to help in this war, but he's actually got way more troops, so it's fine. We don't need to do that. And, um, yeah, he's not in any wars. So we're going to keep all of these um, pinned up here. So our nephew is here, and our other nephew here, and then our daughter as well, if you weren't here. I think for the last episode or the one before that, she's the queen of uh, Jerusalem. So uh, the Habsburgs are spreading far and wide. But uh, we're going to, yeah, try to get this hook. Hopefully we're successful this time. And outside of that, we're just going to keep kind of building up some lands in the HRE. And then I was thinking about this, I think, last episode as well. I was originally going to take over Hungary and take over Bohemia. But um, as someone from our house is already in charge of them, I'm thinking I won't do that unless they lose control of these. If they lose control of them, we'll just invade and take them. But until then, we're actually just going to leave them as independent Habsburgs. We'll probably try and marry into them again. We could unify the titles that way. I think what we're going to try to do now in the medium kind of term is um, try to come after the... Well, the other Habsburg lands historically, so the uh, the Netherlands up here, Frisia, all this kind of stuff in the lowlands. Um, Naples, the, the kingdom of the two Naples basically down here, and then Spain. Uh, Spain will be the hard one because obviously there's a lot going on over here. Now, funnily enough, the HRE does have a uh, bit of land here, so it, I guess in theory we could actually take over this. Because it's connected to HRE land, um, I, I'm, yeah, we could expand into this. I guess we can't put pins down here, no. We don't own the land directly ourselves. Um, so yeah, Spain, I think, is the long-term goal. Short-term kind of Kingdom of Two Italy's, I think. And then uh, also up here, Holland and things like that. Is some area. I mean, we do own this land here, I suppose. We could use that to head into, into this area. Uh, what we might do, though, is we might wait till we're not... Um, Confederate partition because it's just going to be a mess otherwise but uh, that's kind of our other uh, plan as uh, as we keep going forwards we can demand some payments 10 gold I mean why not <laughs> and then these, these are the two kings 
Uh, we're not actually, we won't demand, actually, no, one of the kings here of Hungary. We could try and marry him. That is that is not the right button. Uh, I wanted to arrange marriage, that's the one. So we could marry him to like our granddaughter, get that like Habsburgian uh, fun times going already. So our granddaughter to him. It doesn't matter if it's a matrilineal because we're, we're both the same house. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just going to keep it within the family. The risk of them being inbred. Yeah, but that's that's kind of like what we're going for, to be honest. We can use this hook. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Why not? It's, it doesn't make sense. It's, you know, it's not min-max in the, uh, the campaign, but it is, uh, you know, what they did. They didn't marry off their cousins to cousins and all that kind of craziness, so... I uh, will do that. Keep a very strong alliance with them. It is our house, so we would get an alliance anyway. But um, yeah, you know what? let's let's have some fun whilst we're doing it. Uh, this is the event where we get like a little uh, poem about us. Uh, we won't read this. We've read this a few times already. So uh, let's just go with the offer that's given us the best outcome. How stressed are we? We have zero stress. So let's say... Yeah, we'll do this. And then we should like us some more. And there we go. Why not? Uh, yeah, we do have too many counties. Yeah, so we have too many vassals and we have too many counties, so we can't fix either of these without really getting this hook down here. So, uh, petition our liege. We could petition him. I don't know what he could give us. Let's have a look. Transfer another claim. That worked out quite well for us last time. Uh, wait, I'm paused. How are you offering me this? It... <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> whilst we were looking at this, uh, he's actually offered us the position of steward. So, um, that also worked out quite well, because we might have used that to get that steward position. Uh, steward will be good. It'll make us some more money, so that's going to help us actually quite a bit. Uh, transfer claim. We could try get another title given to us. We could urbanize county. This will fund a city holding, or this will fund a temple holding. Um, I might try this transfer claim again. It worked out so well for us last time. I'm going to go to the council's throne room. I definitely present the evidence of my claim on the county of Argau. Oh, that's our historical homeland, and highlight his strengths over that of Duchess Cyrilla. Cyrilda. After speeching, he says, oh, he just gave it to us. Nice. <laughs> so we've got our old homeland back over here. Uh, we were trying to get rid of these lands. Um, something's working against us, though, to make sure we just keep getting more and more land over here. But uh, yeah, we did get that county, which is pretty nice. Like I said, this is where we started. Um, it's actually a really good development, 16, but uh, we're, not, we're going to keep our capital, obviously, over here in, uh, in Austria going forward. Now we can ransom someone off. 25 gold? Oh, no, he... Had a prison of ours, so we had to give him 25 gold, which is fine. Oh, he died, I guess. Our antiquarian. So let's uh, let's fix that, get a new one. Because we, we have got a few artifacts now. Again, if we come to the Archduke, we'll also unlock the uh, the court. So we will be able to put them to a bit more use than we have been currently. Is he our son? No, he just, he just really looks like our son. So... He is not, though. And yeah, we'll probably start saving up the money now. Oh, look at our overextension. It's so bad. Um, I wonder if to give the... Oh, we can't even make... Du I keep forgetting we can't even make duchies at the moment and give them away because we're a duke ourselves. So, yeah, we are not uh, doing well with that. What's this? 71 and 81? Okay, a, if this is successful, all our issues are fixed. So, uh, let's have a look. Do we... Have you supporting the scheme? We do. Oh, I might move this up to uh, train commanders. That's probably way better for us. Actually, no. Uh, is there anywhere that needs more control? I know that we control directly. Oh, no. We, we own this, though, don't we? Yes, we do. We probably should give this away, but we might just wait uh, till later. So let's increase the control here. I'll give us some more levies and some more money. Another child of our dynasty. Our dynasty is growing pretty, uh, pretty big now. Well, it's kind of a bit weird. Our house has forty-six members, but we are part of a different dynasty that isn't called the Habsburg dynasty. I was thinking of renaming it. It would probably help us uh, keep track of lands that our people from our kind of house own. But uh, then we kind of could have not cheating, but we'd have things highlighted. Although that says von Habsburg. Wait, isn't this? Oh, no, this is house. For some reason, I thought this was dynasty view. And it showed you uh, the dynasty title. But no, it shows you the house title. Well, ignore me. Fine then. <laughs> but 
we want to see more of this von Habsburg. So come down here, von Habsburg. All of this von Habsburg. And then uh, more lands in the future going to be have von Habsburg. Um, invited to a feast at uh, St. Polten. Sure. Let's go to that. How long have we got for this? 20 months. So we're basically just waiting for this. Uh, the feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my faithful vassal, the Prince Bishop. He inquires my opinion on theological treatises, a subject he's deeply interested in himself. Well, he is a priest, so... Well, he's a Prince Bishop, even, so... He, yeah, he's going to be interested in uh, theological debate. We could make friends with him. He already loves us quite a lot. He, he, he likes eating food. Um, 27 uh, learning? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just make it. Why not? Why not? We'll make him our friend. Well, closer to being a friend. Conversation partner. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my friend Prince Bishop uh, Dietpold goes on and on about friendship. And that's how we salvage that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? So we can say, no, no, please go on. Well, why don't you talk about you instead? Or you're making a fool of yourself. You could never bore me. <laughs> Now we do this one because we're callous and we're just like, um, you know, just shut up. You're boring. <laughs> this is a special decision, so we're actually going to choose this because we are a callous character. So, uh, although we were trying to make friends with him, we uh, we're, we're also, uh, you know, callous. So we just don't care. Which is exactly what we do. Sure, we'll ransom her back off. Feast returning home. What a feast! I remember the day spent with the Prince Bishop. Oh, you know, we, we are really making friends with him. Now it seems... Uh, now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and make more... And once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Well, well my friend. There you go. Well, it worked quite well. It worked out quite well. There we go. We've got a thousand gold, which we need for the decision. So again, for this decision, all we need... Oh no, our scheme got discovered. No. <laughs> All we need is the strong hook. This bottom bit here we can do immediately. Um, we could do it now, but there's no point in risking it getting removed from us. So yeah, our scheme got discovered. Oh, our, our involvement wasn't found out, but the plan was uh, itself discovered. Yeah, which has basically destroyed this. Well, that's annoying. Fabricate hook gossip. My agents have made contact with Ingelbert, a servant to the, to the Kaiser... Uh, in his castle. Okay, we could try do this. Yeah, let's do it. it. I mean, it's barely improved it because it got discovered. I guess we might as well let it play out and you never know. It could somehow be successful. Although I wonder... I wonder whether to um, do this, like, not not this one, find, find secrets. Let's have a look. What does that change? It makes no difference. This the, the negative modifier, yeah, for scheme is exposed, minus 75%. Um, yeah, we, we might as well try this, because we might find a secret out about him somehow through this. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Wow, we keep going to all these feasts. <laughs> Just non-stop feasts. If they could stop for just one minute, I uh, I wouldn't be mad. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do down here. No, there isn't. Uh, Andalusians. Andalusian advancements. I don't know why we're getting told about this. I guess because the HRE is here. Maybe. Andalusian scholars have long devoted themselves to the study of medicine. Now the polymath... Abu Bakir Ibn Tafail, definitely again I pronounce that, uh, is seeking to join my court, but he has recently been exiled from my acquaintance, Emir Ubayid's court, for an undisclosed transgression. And we don't even really have a court, so okay, fine. I study both the heavens, the mind, and the ailments of the flesh, he says, but I'm an advocate for the benefits of studying the human body post-mortem. Might you provide me with opportunities to pursue this? My current court physician, Victor, urges me not to replace him with this heathen. I bet he does. I bet he does. How good is he? Oh, he's like a... He's a renowned physician. Interesting. 
I mean, he is a heretic. He's got 37 learning. I wonder if we could convert him. Uh, I could use a new physician. So, oh no, we'll gain stress because we're content and callous. So we're not going to do this. Which is a shame because I kind of wanted to do it. But uh, no. We'll send you back to the Emir in chains. So we just send him back. We are callous, so I suppose it would be what we might do. And then my health is fine, thank you. <laughs> we just tell him to shut up, basically. Um, so we lose 20 stress. He leaves us alone. We gain 100 piety because we basically said, no, you're a heathen, get out of here. Uh, rolling in filth, we get a minor health penalty. The character is unconcerned about cleanliness and so-called hygiene. Well, that's, uh, that's a bit much. Do we get that if we choose this option? No, okay, well, we're callous, so I think we'd pick this middle one. We'd just send him back and say, like, yeah, whatever. To the modest Duke Otto. Uh, the look in your eyes is like wet mud. My heart yearns to feel your lips touch mine, that I may know if your prowess carries off the battlefield. May our love grow and flourish evermore. Uh, Maria, uh, Marie de Poitiers uh, is trying to um, trying to uh, try to win us over here. I mean, we should probably just say no because there's literally no benefit for doing this. Oh, she's down here. She has a claim on Castile. Interesting. Wait, who's she married to? Oh, she's married to our son, Hesso. <laughs> okay. She's trying to sleep <laughs> with her husband's uh, father. Classic Crusader Kings. Um, so no, we're not going to interfere with this because are they matrilineal? No, they're normally married. So um, An Anselm and Eckhard here are going to inherit his claims. So um, I'm going to say end this foolish endeavor immediately. Please leave us alone. <laughs> We don't want to upset our son. Thank you very much. Yeah, this isn't going to be successful. Unless we get super, super lucky with the old dice rolls. We'll see. Sprouting interest. A merchant sends me a couple of seeds. Plants he claims are good for health and mind. So we're going to get a 20% um, chance to become a herbalist. Oh, but we got the, the other modifier instead. Wait, Elizabeth? My prisoner Elizabeth? Oh, I thought it said my daughter for some reason. Have we got other prisoners and I just didn't realise? Oh, yeah, we've got a bunch of them. Yeah, just, just get out of here. Granary infestation. Vermin have infested several granaries in the county of Ber Ber this place, uh, destroying the seed grain stored in them. Uh, with nothing to plant for next year's crops, the free tenants living there have come to me seeking aid. But we're not going to do well here because we're content and callous, so all these options are bad. Oh, and humble, so... Literally every uh, trait we have is bad for this. So, uh, well, we'll get critical because we'll fail two of them. So we're not going to do that. I guess we'll do this one. We'll spend a bit of gold, get a little bit of stress, but we'll also gain a bit of piety. Yeah, we'll do that option. Why not? And then we'll find out uh, this, this scheme is finally going to end soon. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Overwhelmed by stress. I mean, there's a chance we might die. I mean, if, if we do die, um, we'll probably spend a little bit of time reunifying our lands. But again, we'll, we'll probably just reunify these lands and leave everything over here uh, with our brother uh, at that point. So we're having dark thoughts. We can move a flagrant or Im improvident. I don't even know what that does, to be honest. Let's have a look. Lo oh, is it just because we lose some money? Monthly income minus 15%. Probably can't afford to do that. I uh, will uh, stink of the lash. Will excise my sins. I mean, we are callous, so maybe we turn that on ourselves. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll give that a go. And uh, yeah, let's go with. Oh, we lost wounded immediately. See, he's a, he's a good core cool physician. Let's go with uh, likable. There you go. Involvement discovered. Oh, and now he's discovered we're in charge of this. So yeah, that was basically the worst of all uh, chances there. Um, because we failed to get the hook and he, um, and he, and he realized it was us. But I mean, he still loves us, plus 99 for some reason. I guess just all these modifiers? Yeah, it's just so many modifiers. Um, but now, the problem is now is we can't refabricate a hook for, oh, it's only two years? Okay, that's fine. Well, in two years, we'll have to do that then. 
And then you never know, our spy master might find something else. We have an alliance with Jerusalem. We'll do that. With our uh, with our daughter. Is she at war with anyone? No. She's still having a good time. She hasn't lost any of those lands. And uh, like I say, neither of our neither have either of our uh nephews here. Demand payment from her? We probably don't want to do this. We don't need the 100 gold. I'd rather she had it. She can pay for some uh, soldiers and things like that. A claim on uh, uh, Hohenberg. For months, Cosimo, Countess Romilada's suffrage and bishop, has been digging up spurious contracts of fabricated histories. Oh, he's going to try uh, come get some of our land. Okay, you do that. Speaking of which, I might actually try and just take some of uh, Behemoth. What's he got on his face? <laughs> Oh, is because he's disfigured? Yeah, it must be. Oh yeah, he's like his nose is missing, so he's got like a a clasp holding like a a metal fake nose on his on his face. Um I kind of feel like maybe taking some of this land. Um let's do that. He's got a hook. We can be carrying on expanding whilst we're waiting for all the other things to finish. So we'll try to get a claim, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a large Dutch statue Bavaria, so you know we could take all of this. Keep expanding within the uh, within the empire. Um, I don't care about Jonas. No, <laughs> we could be friends with him. I'm kind of just hoping they find a random uh, secret that's related to the Kaiser. I'm not sure how successful that will be, but uh, that is the plan. In the meantime, we might actually just keep in uh, upgrading some of our lands here because we, we're not going to spend this money anyway. Although it looks like we, um... oh no, there we go. We've got, we've got plenty of things here we can be upgrading. We're going to keep Salzburg unless it gets taken off us, which I think it is going to do in the, um, in the inheritance. But that'll be the one we try win back. Yeah, I kind of want to get Salzburg and uh, Corinthia back. So we'll see. There's a chance obviously one of these two might die. He is, oh, he's a deviant. Okay. And he's homely. So hopefully... You know, we'll play as Gerhard here. We could just attack him immediately and try um grab at least one of those back. Uh, probably Salzburg's the one I'll go for. And then the rest of them we can worry about later. And we can ask our Head of Faith for gold. I mean, we could do that. He only likes us plus 20, but at the same time, that's enough. So, yeah, give us 300 gold almost. There we go. So we'll, uh, we'll invest that in some more of our lands here. Like I say, these are the ones we're going to lose, but it's fine. We'll just get them back uh, next time uh, after the succession, unless we're very, very lucky with another hook. Hold a feast. I mean, we could hold a feast, I suppose. Greetings, uncle. Wait, why, why are you trying to... He wants the star chart? <laughs> Why is he saying it belongs to him? I don't think he ever owned it. He's our nephew. Like, yeah, he's just saying, like, can I have this star chart, please? I don't even know if we use Are we using the star chart? I'm guessing we are. Yes, we are. I mean, we could give it up. We've got plenty of other stuff we can randomly... Oh, yeah, we've got this fucking spear, actually. Plus five and night effectiveness. What was the other one? Fine Warhammer. Plus two and plus three. Plus five. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely uh, use that then. Yeah, so we've got all these other trinkets. We, we've got a bunch of these from stealing them during some of our wars. Do you know what, though? I, I might just say no. <laughs> I'm just going to say no. We're going to keep it. We're head of the house. We're, we're, we're keeping all the goodies. Thank you very much. Uh, you can go find your own. You are a king. You're actually a higher rank than us. So uh, how about you go do that? Then we'll steal them. We become a king. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll come and steal them from you, so... We'll let we'll see how that goes. Uh, John, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna just start saying yes to these, and then just hopefully one of them, like say, helps us in some way. Like if we could get a hook on the Prince uh, de Pult, we might be able to use it for something, or we just super look out and get one on him. Actually, I'm not sure. Somebody let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if you, um. If you can get a hook on the liege using that counselor skill, I'm not sure. I'm presuming you can. It doesn't say you can't, but I'm not sure. I've never seen one. 
Um, oh, we, we are no longer a steward. <laughs> He's changed his mind. He's like, no, 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 no. That's enough of that mistake. So uh, there we go. He's removed us from our core position. Which is unfortunate. It was giving us a good amount of money, but uh, it's not the uh, not the end of the world either, to be honest. Um, oh, wait. Ka Kaiser in attack. Wait. Oh, England's attacking the HRE? Wait, what? Attacking Kaiser for Ormond. Oh, they're <laughs> so England's attacking the HRE for this bit of island. <laughs> Seems like a worthwhile war. Seems like a very worthwhile war, that. <laughs> Not sure I'd be I'd be taking that risk, to be honest. Uh, we will do this feast, because I guess there's a chance we could um get a hook on the Kaiser at the feast. Can we invite him to it as well? We can't. I thought you could invite anyone you wanted, but I guess not. Unless he's already got invited. There's a chance. Let's have a look. We should be able to see. Uh, we're here. Bunch of counts. Some mares. Our sons. Ah, no, the Kaiser didn't come. Oh, well. Breaking horses. Eating was well underway and drinking a little too... And... <laughs> I cannot read today, guys. I do apologize. Eating was well underway and drinking a, a little too far along when the Countess Songol decided it was time for some horse riding. My stables were locked up tight, but with guidance from Hesso, Songol soon led a group of eager riders inside. Is that our son? Son's uh, going off and helping um, our Chancellor here uh, go horse riding. With absolutely no control over my animals, there was swearing, laughter, and broken bones as men and women fell from horses ambling around the hall. Oh yeah, they brought them into the feasting hall. Definitely what I'd be doing. Other creatures in the stable did not get away much easier, and one goat nearly caved in under the weight of Count Eric. In the evening took a turn, however, when Hesso was found at the back of the stables, engaging in unspeakable acts with one of my oxen. <laughs> oh, dude. He's a deviant. I guess that's why... I mean, I kind of want to just uh, disinherit this guy. Like, <laughs> he's was, was sleeping with an ox. Grand pardon, never. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to disinherit him for that. Like, you've brought shame on our family. Sleeping with an ox. It's happening. Hesso, you're you're just too vile to be it to. Uh, to stay in the Habsburgs. That's just a step too far. And purely by chance, it means our son Gerhard's going to inherit everything. That's just by chance. Definitely wasn't why I did it. <laughs> and I wouldn't. If you usually watch my playthroughs, I don't usually disinherit people because um, I think it's kind of cheating, to be honest. So uh, I never do it, but there it was kind of like story, uh, a story reason why we would do it. So that is fine. So we can find... Oh, we can find a secret on his mother. Interesting. What did we find out? Like, if we found out, like, he isn't her... Well, no, he'd, he'd have to be her son. <laughs> if it was his father, we could find out maybe he wasn't his son. Um, what did we find out? She's a witch? Wait, where is it? Didn't it just say we found a, a hook on her? I guess we didn't. I could have sworn that said we, we, we found a hook on her, but... I guess not. I guess not. Well, actually, we'll, we'll be able to see. And we do have a hook on her. Use hook. We can force her to come to our... <laughs> We're going to force her to come to our court. I wonder if we could use her somehow in a in a scheme later. Anyway, we'll force her to be in our court. Um, and that's going to be a good time for us. Uh, can we do that hook yet? I think we've got to wait a little bit longer. 4th of September. Yeah, okay, we'll just stay here then. So we're going to we're going to start this immediately. 
Um, now, one good thing is that we've sorted out our succession, so it isn't as much of a rush to try and get this done before we die. But it's still, at the same time, we kind of do want to get this finished as soon as we can. A renewal of patronage. After five years, the funds I set aside for the patronage of my natural philosopher, Berhold, have run out. I can now choose whether to, or not to renew my patronage for another five years. Um, yeah, we did do that. Do you know, I think we, we might keep him. Yeah, why not? We have to spend some of our gold, but it's fine. Uh, where's this scheme? The 4th of September. There we go. Guess we've got to re-click into that for that to uh, update. Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's hardly any chance of this being successful. I uh, will switch this back then um, to support schemes. That will help us a little bit. I don't think there's anything else really that will help us. No, we'll leave everything else how it is. And then we just got to get super lucky. Uh, 22 and 32%. We'll see. We'll, we'll pay for some boosts and things like that for this. And then hopefully we get a hook on him. And uh, we can start moving. Your daughter has learned the Arabic language. I mean, that's fair. She's she's the queen of Jerusalem. She's just trying to make people like her. Oh, she's actually at war with... The, oh, no, she's fighting in that war with, uh, with Leon. Oh, wait, no. Le Leon's attacking Galicia. And she is a... Oh, because she's married to him. That's why. We need a new Chancellor. Um, everyone loves us, so we should really choose this guy. But we're actually going to choose Count Odica. Because he's just way better than the other guy is. Um, and we'll switch him to Foreign Affairs now. Because everyone loves us. So we don't have to worry about having the domestic stuff anymore. Got another lifestyle perk. Fantastic. Uh, soon for him, Tyranny. We don't have Tyranny. Counselor Opinion plus 20. Uh, I will do that. And yeah, I'm guessing these two are... <laughs> yeah, they're not losing any lands or anything like that. So yeah, that, that's going to work out quite nice for us. We'll see what else happens. We could also try and get maybe a Habsburg onto the Croatian throne or Wallachia. Uh, some more of these ones are round kind of spread east uh, by just through marriages and then like I say the lands over here are the ones we're going to focus on ourselves um how is he doing against england he's well he's got all his troops but i don't think he's actually gone and fought um oh no 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 he has he's taken hampshire and the isle of wight so no he is over here oh yeah there he is they just haven't fought each other yet so i uh, will see how that all pans out um so we continue Oh, you can marry? Who's this? Our daughter? Oh, our granddaughter. Well, we'll marry off Matrilinley again. We're going to just try use this to steal titles. Oh, there we go. How old is she? 16. There we go. Min, uh, marry Prince uh, Vishalav of Galicia. I'm guessing he's quite far down the inheritance line. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, he's not even he's not even in the line of succession, but uh, you never know. Weird things can happen, so we'll we'll do that, and uh, could pay off for us in the future. We'll we'll, we'll see. Well, it's gone up to forty seven and fifty seven percent, so it's a shame there's nothing we can do to speed that up. I mean, we could do if we respect into. Oh, we got a claim on all of Bavaria. Let's go. <laughs> Should we take it off Duke Benno? Once they got 4,200 troops, we've got 9,000. I mean, no, we can't. I mean, I want to do this, but we've got so much land. We... I'm, I'm tempted to just give away all this land over here, you know. And then we can take Bavaria and we can have like a unified hub here. And we can get rid of all these tiny little bits of land everywhere. I think I'm going to do that. It seems like a the wrong kind of thing to do when you're playing Crusader Kings. Give away land. Especially as we're literally going to have to give it away. Because we can't have them within our realm. So can we just like make him independent? Oh, we can't. We're not an independent rule. Oh, no, we can't do it anyway. Because we're not... Well, no, we could. We could make... We could make one of these guys like the, the Duke of... Uh, up Lorraine and then give him 
the vassal, they give him the other land at the same time, I think. Can we give him that? Can we then give him this? Oh no, we can't. Yeah, see, we couldn't even do that. Because she's only a counter, so we can't even transfer them to, under her control and then give her this and she'll become independent. We'd have to literally just give away these duchy titles at the Duchy of Swabia and then all the land in inside of it to someone. And I don't think we have anyone that's Habsburg down here. No, we don't. Um, in fact, I don't think we have any Habsburgs down here anymore. Oh, wait, no, we have Argao. We could give this to someone. Yeah, like uh, our grandson here. And then couldn't we make him the Duke of... I know it's the wrong duchy, but couldn't we make him the Duke of Swabia at the same time? I'm not sure. I'm going to try this anyway. I'm going to give him this land. And then can we make him... Can we just give him a bunch of these lands? We could... We could. I don't feel like doing that. Just giving him like a bunch of land over here. And then just letting him deal with it, to be honest. Like this. Just give him a bunch of these duchies, because I don't want them. Where's Verona? Isn't Verona down here somewhere? Oh, Verona's this one. And this one I'll keep. Stay marks next to us as well. Where's Krant? Is that this one? Yeah, it is. See, this thing, there's so many of these I actually want to keep. Well, the Duchy of Stay Mark, I'm not who bothered about but still we probably want to keep that yeah it's these little counties here we can't give away first unless we make actually can we make any more of the duchies over here i think they're already owned by people yeah can we steal this no swabio is the one we already have uh we could make this one i suppose do we have land in there we do because then we could give him zurich as well Oh no, we can't make that because we don't own the counties within it. Well, I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to give him uh, Swabia. And he'll become independent. But he will be an independent uh, Duke of the Habsburgs. And it does get rid of some of this land from us. So yeah, we're now... Not getting the punishment for being over our vassal limit. We actually got rid of a bunch of vassals doing that. But, so uh, yeah, we can't fix the rest just yet. But it did help us a little bit. And now, <laughs> let's ruin that by attacking Bavaria. Yeah, we're getting an alliance with him. Why not? Because we don't want him to lose that land. I know we've just given that away, but I can't... Yeah, because we can't give him more lands can we we can't just give him stuff no it's a shame he's from our house so we can't just give him stuff anyway um just for him to use but uh, anyway it cleaned up a little bit it doesn't look like it we've made some uh border gore for sure but uh yeah we're gonna keep working on doing all the rest of these as well in the long um oh actually we could have given no 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 we gave it to the guy because he was from our house um Anyway, this has been a bit of a rambling, uh, all over the place episode, but we're going to leave it there for now. And uh, yeah, when we come back next time, we'll be, as always at the moment, working towards this hook. And then uh, we might do this war for Bavaria. I'm not sure, because we did just fix our issues. Well, some of them. I don't want to immediately make them worse, which we would, because all these guys would become vassals of ours. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. So anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. As always, if you've enjoyed the episode, even if it's a bit of a weird one, if you hit that like button, it helps other people find uh, the content and the uh, the playthrough on the channel um, themselves. And also, if you're new here, this is your first video. Um, I play Crusader Kings and other grand strategy games on the channel. I do dev diary coverage and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, you know what to do if you, that's your kind of thing. But we're going to leave it there for today, and I'll see you in the next one.